So check out my new carb spacer. This is my old one right here. It's made out of wood. You know, it's about 20 years old. And wood is a lot better insulator of heat. A lot of people put spacers on cars for different reasons, but uh, something that I kind of just learned recently, you got dual plenum and you're not running like super crazy RPMs, white, like wicked flowing carb and maybe some NOS. You really want to have a four hole spacer. And uh, I didn't feel like dicking around. So I just went with the OEM. I got me an Edelbrock four bore spacer there. And I was kind of wondering, you know, what the deal is. Um, and I saw a couple little holes in the bottom of the carb. I was worried that might get blocked out, but check this out. This is what the bottom of the carb looks like right here, right? So you got this uh, spacer on here. And um, <clears throat> I run a uh, air gap RPM uh, dual plenum intake on this car. So if you look, you know, there's this thing right here. And I was like, oh, it's going to block that off and this off, right? But the thing is, is all these holes had these little tiny ports on them, right? So, you know, I'm no engineer or scientist, but I would think that they're designed to mate flush to uh, one of these adapters on an old school uh, intake manifold or maybe something like the late model sort of OEM ones when they were running these carters. So when you put this one in place... <laughs> It's not really blocking anything, but this that goes to nowhere. And then all these have their little tiny ports on the side to sort of, you know, get what they need. So I would suggest if you're having any sort of issue with your idol and someone sold you one of these or you bought it because you thought it's what you need, you definitely want to go with one of these. And it kind of worked out because I was going to swap it out anyways. Comes with both gaskets. And it comes with the studs because I had like some totally mismatched studs with all kinds of ghetto ass washers on it and stuff. Check the link in the description below. I'll have a link for that. And uh, follow along with this little series I'm doing on the Edelbrock carburetor. It's a 1405 600 CFM vacuum secondary. In the process of rebuilding it for my Monte Carlo back there. Trying to get her back on the road. She's been laid up for about eight years. And uh, we got her driving, but uh, trying to get her driving good. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace.